Welcome again to Midway Power Sports, located here in the heart of the Ozarks in Spokane, Missouri. We're just about 20 minutes south of Springfield, about 30 minutes uh, northwest of Branson, Missouri. I'm doing just a quick YouTube video uh, featuring this 2008 uh, Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD four-wheel drive powered by the 6.6 Duramac diesel. Uh, just use a quick video to represent this truck as if you folks were here in person uh, checking the truck out. Uh, here in just a moment we'll keep walking around the truck, we'll point out anything uh, and everything about it and uh, we'll uh, hop in it and we'll drive it down the highway as if you were on a test drive folks. So bear with me and I'll uh, make this video as short and as sweet as I can by getting as much information in it as I can. Uh, one thing I do want to uh, let you know, we do have history report in hand. This is a one owner truck, um, semi-local here out of Arkansas. Uh, we're in southwest Missouri, so we get a lot of Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas stuff. Uh, but this is a one owner, no accidents, out of Arkansas. Beautiful truck, sharp, sharp truck, folks. Does have a couple aftermarket things. Um, Someone did add these fender flares. Uh, we did check out behind those. Um, um, those fender flares are just put on there. It's not to hide up anything. We did we did check them out behind there. Um, has some nice XD series aftermarket wheels and tires, uh, matching all the way around. Again, this is powered by the 66 Allison uh, Duramax, or I'm sorry, 66 Duramax by the six feet Allison transmission. Uh, it's been a long day, folks gets repetitive here but uh, sharp truck factory tow mirrors um, we've not done any kind of repairs um, we haven't sent this thing we have not sent it to the body shop or anything like that uh, the only thing that was done to this truck um, uh, with any vehicle it's going to have light scratches and things like that um, so there was some light touch up on scratches uh, rock chip kind of thing um, nothing really out of the out ordinary I will uh, be sure to point point anything out to you. Um, this truck has never had a fifth wheel or gooseneck ball in it. We did get underneath it and, and verify, so no fifth wheel ball or anything like that. It does got a little blemish right here below the tail light, like a little little wrinkle right there, um, a little dent or something. I'm, I'm not sure what to even call it. Good looking truck. Front of the bed's nice and straight, not pushed in. Rockers and, and uh, cab corners are all nice and solid. Go ahead and do one more walk around here. Got just a little, little blemish right there. Chrome on that grill looks great. Rest of the chrome on this bumper looks, looks really good. Don't have any, no sign of hell dents or anything like that on the hood. Here's some scratches right, little scratches right here that were touched up. Um, folks, don't worry, I'm, I'm beating the truck up for you. You know, I'm, I'm trying to nitpick it apart so you guys can know exactly what you're getting. I want to show you the, these doors and rockers. Everything's just so neat. I love this truck with the black leather. Someone has custom ordered it with the uh, uh, vinyl floor, which I personally prefer. I'm surprised mo more of them aren't that way. Get all the angles on this thing. All right, a little bit of wear just from someone dragging their foot getting in and out. Just normal, normal stuff, folks. Let's go ahead and open this door back up. Uh, power windows, power locks, factory Chevrolet leather, nylon smoker, does have sunroof, vinyl floor. Easy to clean, no carpet to ruin. You got the the comfort of a you know factory leather leather. We've got to love that. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Um, let's go ahead and fire this thing up real quick and I will pop the hood. This is more or less a cold start, folks. I just pulled this truck up here off the front row. Show it to you. Let's get down here and... Oop. Oh, not even thinking. Pop the hood there. Of 
course the seatbelt light is on I will apply my seatbelt before we drive it cold start if you can see that temperature gauge down uh, we're checking this truck out with 98,327 miles guys I'm not professional at doing these videos but I do them for you at home shoppers we do it as a courtesy you know it's hard for a lot of you folks to get out here and look at these trucks in person this truck has not been uh, Tainted, it's not having any kind of aftermarket stuff on it. 98,000 original miles, this motor's all factory. You saw that temp gauge. It's a cold start. Factory exhaust. set this camera down so I can go ahead and put my seatbelt on. Alright, seatbelt's on. Give you one, one more look here. Um, let's go ahead and start showing some of it off. I'm going to show you power windows. Those suckers are quick. Mirror. Side to side, up to down, all the good stuff. Mm. Both windows. All well, these windows are quick. Um, of course, you got power locks. Uh, cruise control. Automatic lights. Windshield wipers. Sunroof. Of course, glove box, uh, here's your four-wheel drive. Of course, I always like to try to get up here on the dash so I can show all this at once, possibly. Setting sun is not helping me any. It's your four-wheel drive. Gosh, the sun's going to be too hard. Down in neutral, got your four low. You can see that. And then right back to too high. Sun is not helping, is it? Factory's uh, radio, CD player, um, dual uh, dual climate controls. Um, all that good stuff. Of course, you got your center console. Flips up for a six person. All that good stuff, folks. Of course, you got OnStar and all that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take this thing for a quick drive down the road and uh, show the truck off. Guys, you got any questions, give me a call. 417-443-2300. There, you just heard the automatic door locks. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. You're welcome here in person, um, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. After hours and on the weekends or by appointment only. This is going to be just a normal acceleration. Of course somebody wants to call me right now. Nice and smooth, even with these aftermarket wheels and tires, still drives nice and straight and smooth down the highway. I'd say uh, those BFG all trains got just a little bit of tire noise compared to a factory tire, folks. Um, but no shimmies, no shakes. Truck doesn't pull either direction. Nice and straight down the highway. We'll go ahead and turn off here real quick. 60 to zero in a hurry. Nice firm brake pedal. Uh, brake pedal is not spongy. Did not pulsate. Big old 
dip in the road right there. Uh, but the, the uh, turn around. That squeaking's just it's just from my hand pivoting. Driving driving one handed right here. Just from my hand pivoting on the steering wheel. It's a clean steering wheel, so it's squeaking on my hand here. So bear with me as we wait on traffic here just a little bit. Nice firm brake pedal, doesn't spongy, not pulsate. Guys, there's no wind noise, uh, no shimmies, no shakes. Um, I could tell just from a factory, um, comparing it to factory, you could notice the aftermarket tires just a little bit. 98,000 miles on 08 Duramax. Doesn't get much better than that. And I am going to go ahead and lean on it for you. Again, even at the harder acceleration, shifted nice and smooth, no shimmies, no shakes. My, the highway as I'm driving through here, if, if you guys can see it on the video, it's got turning lanes and everything else and I'm having to swerve around. So uh, I promise you this truck's take me nice and straight down the road. I'm just I'm having to steer around the turning lanes and all that. So uh, folks, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Gosh, it's, it's, this is a test drive, just like as if you had been here in person, and uh, not here to not here to mislead you and everything. It's, it's why we do these videos, but give us a call, 417-443-2300. Happy to sell you this truck at any time, and uh, good luck. Thank you for watching.